Today we're going to try out the Ozark Trail Popper versus the Rebel Pop R. So stay tuned. There he is. <laughs> Not a little one. Welcome back to Hoosier Back Outdoors. If you like anything and everything to do with the outdoors, especially fishing, then this is the channel for you. Reach down, hit that subscribe button, help us reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. We'd really appreciate it. Also, reach down, smash that notification bell, that way you never miss an upload from us. I stopped by Walmart and picked up a popper from the Ozark Trail brand and a Rebel Pop R that's, and I tried to get pretty much the same size, same color, but we're gonna do a little test today and see how it works out. Let's get the poles rigged up and we can see what we can do with these baits. So you know, I want to let you know about a deal here. You see that big turtle out there? <laughs> I want to let you know about a deal here. This is a 6.6 six medium action. It is the uh, Guggen Squad rod and reel combo. Now Favorite put this out and Guggen Squad and Favorite have parted ways. So we all get to benefit from that because they just unloaded a whole bunch of stock at Walmart. And I picked this brand new rod and reel combo up at Walmart for 10 bucks ten dollars for this Guggen squad rod and reel combo put out by favorite so yeah you might run to your walmart real quick and check and see if they have any left a really 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 good deal okay i got my lose xfinity speed stick uh hooked up it has 15 pound braid on it and i have the ozark trail popper on there and then on the Guggen squad uh, rig. I have a 10 pound mono that is pre-spooled on there. First time I've fished with this rod actually. And I have the Rebel Pop R on there. We're going to alternate our throws and see if we can catch a fish with each one of them. We'll start off with the Ozark Trail. We'll, we'll go right over here. Check this spot out. Here we go. <laughs> Oops, bad throw. How about we'll do five minutes with each lure? I'd like to get this right over next to that edge right there. Yeah, right there. Cloud cover ought to help today. Might've got out here too late though. It's about 10 o'clock. I'll watch this timer on my GoPro here. And We'll put a time limit on each one of these. And this has a great walking action back and forth. Every time I pull it, it goes in the opposite direction. That's really nice. The way it lands in the water it lands really softly it's not don't give a big splash just enough to attract a fish's attention 
Okay, five minutes with the Ozark Trail. Now we're gonna try the Rebel. Uh-oh. Grasshopper just jumped in the water. I was waiting on him to get eaten. <laughs> we're gonna try the Rebel Pop R. Now, one thing about it that I noticed right off the bat, it has a better popping action. It has a louder pop to it. And it don't have the back and forth walk like the Ozark Trail does. But it does have a louder pop. You can actually hear it. Now, I don't know, it may have to do with the line of 10 pound mono on this. It may have a little bit to do with the action of the bait. Okay, we're setting it four minutes and 15 seconds with this Rebel Pop R. Now granted today not, might not be the greatest day to be trying these out, but this bait does come in a straighter line than the Ozark Trail bait. Ozark Trail bait does a more of a walking style. Okay, it's been five minutes. Uh, I'm gonna set my camera up and show you what the action is on these. Maybe you can get a better idea of what it looks like in the water. All right, since I'm tired of not getting a bite, we have hooked a wacky rigged worm up here with a uh, yum dinger on it. And we'll see if we can get any bites with this. I do know one thing from fishing these ponds for a few years is that in not very long a time, the mood will definitely change in this pond as far as what the fish are biting. They'll change to a shad, something moving in the water, a swim bait, a crank bait. Their attitude will definitely change as far as what they eat. And we'll be ready. We're hooked up and ready to go with those things. Because I know when, when they start eating shad and feeding on the shad, the, the crank bait and the jerk bait work really well. There he is, <laughs> not a little one. Looks like I need to set my drag a little better. Man, that was a slow bite. Wow, that was incredibly slow. 
okay these fish can hurt you these small ones can <laughs> i'm not gonna worry about grabbing his lip there we go nice little bass on the yum dinger that took a little bit i tell you and that bite was really really subtle it's just a little peck. It felt like a bluegill pecking at this is what it felt like. Just a real quick snap and a peck. Thanks for being a part of this video today. I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of stuff, then I'll put two more videos here on the screen. If you haven't already, subscribe. Help us get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. If you like these kind of reviews, let me know in the comments. We'll be doing some more. And we'll see you next time. But until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. See you guys later.